Hey everybody, what is going on? My name is Jack from CAD Games and today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually download the uh, latest release of x Knight, which is the pre-alpha version 00.03.73 from our website uh, xnight.tech. So if you go ahead and uh, you can go either to our forums or you can just hit the download button here on the uh, main webpage. So on the forums you can click this link here. Um, we've actually had about 100 people download it since. Um, but we'll go and just hit the download button and um, you'll get the X-Knight setup. And so basically this is our uh, setup for our new launcher. And this launcher will allow you to actually download the game via it. So instead of coming to our website and downloading some 500 megabyte file, um, you can just easily get it here. Um, and anytime you want to update it, just open up the launcher and you can update it. And uh, it's pretty easy. But um, we'll just wait for that to download. I already do have it downloaded though, so if we come in here, wherever I have output, there we go, X Knight setup. So you can open it up and then um, go and just cancel this one. Come in here, uh, hit install, and it'll just install. It'll actually um, install to the default location, which is on your C drive in the program files x86 and under the X Knight folder. And so then you just have these four things. You're gonna go ahead and find this one, and this is the launcher. You can pin it to your start menu or whatever you want to do. Um, I'll, I like to have mine on my taskbar. Um, go and unpin it from my start. Pin the taskbar. So there we go. Go and open it up. Um, you'll get this little window with the splash screen, and then here's the launcher. Now I've actually already downloaded it, so. Um, by the way, there's a little thing, there's a little settings menu on the top, so if you are having a slow download, you can change the download cap. Um, if you need to repair the download, then you can always click the repair button, or you can re-download it if there's a corruption error. And so, um, it won't take very long to download, depending on your internet speed, but once it is done, you can go ahead and hit the play button, and you'll see this window pop up for the actual game. Change your resolution up. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and keep my window 1366 uh, ultra settings. Uh, I am playing this on my GTX 750 Ti with an FX 6300 uh, overclock to 4.5 gigahertz. Um, open it up here, we get into the new menu and you have all these functionalities. Go and open up the inbox. Welcome to the XNA Pre-Alpha. We are glad that you could join us in our Pre-Alpha testing. If you encounter any bugs, please report them on our forums. Please do. Um, I have included a few bug reports here. Uh, I need to fix that text lowered a little bit. Um, but I have included a few of the bugs here. Obviously there are a lot more. Um, like the rank hasn't been updated yet. We need to add profile pictures for the Steam. Now this is actually hooked up to Steam so if I open this up you can see that all these players that are right here. A small raccoon right there. Um, all these players. So we'll find Adam for instance. Adam is currently online. So uh, that's pretty cool. That was actually really fun to implement that. Um, settings button still isn't finished yet, and so is the customize. Um, and we're going to have some things fed through our website pretty soon. But um, let's go ahead and hit play, and we'll get to this new loading screen. Um, see the pre alpha version up there. So this is on the map museum, which is actually in our last uh, pre alpha build. And uh, just give it a couple more seconds. Here we go. And so there hasn't been many changes to the actual map. I added a few new uh, pieces of art to the wall, but beyond that, not much done to the map. The weapon location and a few other things with the weapon have been changed. Let's go ahead and switch to full auto. You can do that by hitting B on your keyboard. Um, lean around this corner. That guy. Now, this is actually an issue that I've been encountering lately, which is the AI is actually getting frozen. And um, I'm not really sure why they're doing that, but I will be fixing it before the next build. So um, keep an eye out for that. Let's go ahead and tell this guy to come with us. Um, let's go ahead and just get a move on here. Um, so if you're having this issue where the AI are getting stuck, you can actually, a uh, lot of times, they're just in here and then they get stuck on this wall for some reason. So later on the corner, light them up. I can aim. Um, so yeah, and then there's no round ending yet. We're still writing up the game mode. We just did a lot of the menu work and Steam integration. Um, that was a lot of our goals to get that done. 
So keep it out for the next uh, build that'll be coming out pretty soon. I uh, just wanted to release a little patch for you guys so you could get an idea of what we've been working on and that we're actually making some progress. Um, hope you enjoy this one. Uh, hope you like the aesthetics of the shadows. Man, I love the shadows and the little ambient uh, dirt and stuff that's in the air. Um, but if you do like the build or you like the project, be sure to um, you know leave some feedback in the comment section. We really enjoy seeing what you guys have to say. This game is based off of community suggestions. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them below or you can comment them on our forums, which will be also linked in the description below. My name is Jack from CAD Games, and I'll see you guys next time.